पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा रावीद उजकल बंग वेद विनाचल यमुना गंग उजल जलदी तरंग तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे कही तव जय गाता जन गण मंगल गायक जय है भारत भाग्य विदाता जय है जय है जय है जय 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 हे It's Monday. Oh, it's 7:30. I have to go to school now. Oh. It's first period and we already have a pop quiz. A pop quiz? I didn't study. What am I going to do? Dude, take a deep breath. Relax. What do you mean relax? How am I going to handle this? Just remember you've been paying attention in class, I hope. And you know what you have to do. Now just do it. Ugh, you sound like a Nike ad. Are you sure I can do it? Just remember equanimity and how this too shall pass. You're ready and anyways, this situation is an opportunity for growth. Stop worrying. Oh my gosh, yay. Someone brought donuts for snack. Maybe my day will get better. Ah, that donut was so good. I already took seconds because chocolate with sprinkles is my jam. Okay, then I think you're good for now. You might as well leave some for other kids in the class. What do you mean? There's only one left. Might as well clean out the box so we can throw it away and move on. Let's think about that for a second. Do you really need it or do you just want it for the sake of wanting more? Hmm, I do want it. But I'm also kind of full. So why don't we give someone else the chance to grab the last treat, especially if they didn't have one earlier? Ugh, fine. I guess I can take the high road. Oh my gosh. What? Why did she call on me? I didn't raise my hand. Pause. Smile and just think. What do you mean smile? This is so unfair. You got this. The fact that you're answering in spite of the fact that you're nervous just means that you're being extra courageous. Just give it your best shot. Hmm. If you say so. Okay, let's do this. Yay! School is finally over. Now I can get to go to the birthday party. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I got you a present. Oh, you didn't have to. Look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Be so happy. We really nailed the present thing, right? I guess we should have done better though. Well, look, someone else is giving a present. I made this for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. A beautiful bracelet that's handmade. 
what is wrong with you? That's the ugliest thing ever. And we got her an expensive gift. How can you say that? You have to understand it's about the value of the gift and not what it is. Yeah, and our gift had the most money value. No, it's about what the gift means, and we should be grateful for that. She handmade the gift and put her heart into it. That's what matters, not the cash value of it. Okay, I guess. Some decisions are hard to make because they could be better for you, but not for everyone else. It's even harder because everyone has a dis- different idea of what is best, and every decision has pros or cons. There's always going to be gray area. So, in Keys to Success, a few keys we learned was equanimity, greed, courage, and gratitude. We wanted to bring our graduation presentation presentation to life as the Balbihar year ended. Hari Om. Vasudeva Sutam Devam Tansu Janura Mardanam Devaki Paramarandam Krishnam Vandev Jagat my favorite thing that we learned this year in Balvi Heart was the concept of ahisma and being kind to ourselves. It has been incredibly useful in the realm of sports and it has helped me avoid essentially shaming myself when I'm playing tennis or playing competitively or I lose a point. And it helped me succeed a lot more. My favorite thing I learned this year in Balvi Heart is Ishvara Pranidhana, which teaches us to accept the reality of the situation we are in so we can make the best of it instead of trying to fight it. This class has helped me a lot this year by helping me recognize what is my dharma and duty and what is not. This has helped me become a better version of myself. This year in the Mahabharata, I learned that I should always do good actions. Because good or bad, no matter what, it will always come back to me in the end. This year in Bobby Hart, I learned to wish everyone to be happy because it helps you keep a peaceful state of mind and helps you keep your thoughts more positive. Hi, my name is Mira, and this year in Mahabharata class, I have learned how to remain calm in stressful situations and to think before I act. One thing I learned during the course of the year of Balabihar was how to treat yourself kindly and how to treat yourself with respect. Not just other people, but to also uh, treat yourself with respect. I've always tried my best to be kind to people. However, I never thought about being kind to myself until this year. Sharmila Aunty and Nanjani Aunty taught me the importance of treating yourself like you're your best friend. Being kind to yourself not only helps you feel better, but also makes you more aware of and more kind to the people around you. My favorite thing I learned in Balvihar this year was, of course, the Mahabharata, but also how to meditate properly and to connect with God. Um, also how to be more joyful and happy in life. I learned to be respectful to all kinds of people, no matter what background they come from or anything else. And thank you to all my teachers. Hindu culture is seeing God in every single one of us and treating each other with dignity and respect. This is especially true during a time like COVID, where we all need to support and lift one another up. Hindu culture is reflecting on our body, mind, and intellect. It is recognizing what we can control and accepting what we cannot. Hindu culture is seva and helping others. It is treating everyone and everything around us with love and respect. Hindu culture highlights that we should do our best and leave the rest because not everything is in our control all the time. It also teaches us to respect everyone around us because God is within everyone. Hinduism is Vasudeva Kutumbaka, which means that the whole world is one family. And saluting the Brahman, or the God, in each and every person in our community. Hindu culture is a connection, not only from us to God, but through us to our peers. It allows us to create extremely meaningful conversations and make those connections to our own culture. Hindu culture is more than just religion, but a way of life and behavior that we follow inside or outside of India. Hindu culture is the constant desire to learn and grow from the world around us. Hindu culture is a way to see ourselves and the world around us differently. 
so that we can treat ourselves, others, and everything else with the respect that they deserve. The new culture teaches us to follow a path of virtue, courage, and wisdom, and to follow our dharma throughout our whole life, staying on a path of virtue, and having eternal truth throughout our whole life.